things started out slowly this week. I was having difficulty finding subjects to film. So I decided to try to give nature an incentive. I used the old cheating method of putting some food out. It turns out squirrels don't like grapes. Who knew? Luckily, I didn't have to keep baiting animals. Things picked up later in the week. I've been seeing this mother deer and her calf around the woods. I'm not sure if it's the same pair I saw a few weeks ago. Perhaps they're all having babies around this time of year. I also came across this beautiful amphibian hanging out near a local wetland. Usually people don't really think of toads as pretty, but I think that the intricate pattern and the colorful eye of this creature make it pretty high on my list of aesthetically appealing animals. Speaking of aesthetically pleasing, the weather was really nice this week. It was a great time to film in some of the local meadows. Unfortunately, I didn't get any time lapses this week. I'm sorry. But one thing to note is that where there are flowers, there are lots and lots of insects. There were monarchs and swallowtails everywhere. It was amazing watching that proboscis probe through the flower looking for nectar. There were also a lot of caterpillars feeding on the leaves of these wildflowers. Plants probably see caterpillars as a sort of flesh-eating disease. In a way, caterpillars are just maggots for plants. Think about it. Also, there were a lot of spiders. Believe it or not, this one was about the size of my smartphone screen. I also came into contact with several of these spiny-backed spiders. You really can't walk more than a few feet without seeing one of these guys. Sometimes you can see the parallels between technology and nature. The power lines we string up form a massive web in our cities and in our cul-de-sacs. Fortunately, there's no threat of a massive spider walking along these webs and picking up random human beings. Finally, I had one of the most interesting and perhaps depressing rainy days of my 23-year-old life. I came across this stick insect struggling in the rain. At first I thought it was just having trouble moving around in the torrential downpour, but as I saw its oddly shaped antenna and bent leg, I came to the conclusion that this guy had been stepped on, and I think I was the one who accidentally stepped on it. Trust me, it was an accident and I feel very, very bad about it. I moved it over to the side of the road, but I don't really have high hopes that it survived. I think in the best case scenario, a hungry songbird will come by and put this guy out of its misery. My advice, watch your step. There's all sorts of life underfoot. Ah, and I almost forgot, here is a house centipede I found. There are a lot of them in the house right now, and my mom is freaking out. So it's fantastic. Alright, that's about it. If you guys want to see more cool nature videos, please check out my YouTube channel, the link is below. Or if you want to see cool nature pictures, check out my Instagram. Alright, see you guys next week.